All right, uh, Madam Clerk, you'll publish the verdict, please. Does anybody want the jury polled? Yes, Your Honor. And again, juror number one, was this your verdict? Yes. Juror number two, was this your verdict? Yes. Juror number three, was this your verdict? Yes. Juror number five, was this yes. your verdict? Juror number six, was this your verdict? Yes. Juror number seven, was this your verdict? Yes. Juror number eight, was this your verdict? Yes. Juror number nine, was this your verdict? Yes. Juror number 10, was this your verdict? Yes. Juror number 11, was this your verdict? Yes. Juror number 12, was this your verdict? Yes. 13. Juror number 13, was this your verdict? Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me again thank you for your hard work and dedication during the course of this case. We can never express how grateful we are for your work, your time, your consideration, and your dedication. It's been a long 10 days, and obviously you recognize that your jury service um, was your civic duty, and you've embraced it, and I thank you for that. I've observed you throughout the course of the case uh, and over this last week and a half, and you have performed your duties with the utmost of professionalism. You are why we have the greatest justice system in the world, so thank you on behalf of everyone here in Jacksonville for your service. Before I release you, though, I want to read to you one more instruction because you have distinct privileges as jurors. No juror can ever be required to talk about their discussions that occurred in the jury room except by court order. For many centuries, our society has relied upon juries for consideration of difficult cases. We have recognized for hundreds of years that a jury's deliberations, discussions, and votes should remain their private affair as, as long as they wish it. Therefore, the law gives you a unique privilege not to speak about the jury's work. Although you are at liberty to speak with anyone about your deliberations, you are also at liberty to refuse to speak to anyone. A request to discuss either your verdict or your deliberations may come from those who are simply curious from those who might seek to find fault with you, from the media, from the attorneys, or elsewhere. It will be up to you to decide whether to preserve your privacy as a juror. Your decisions then as to whether or not you will speak about this case with anyone obviously is an individual decision. It is not one that requires the vote of the group. Please remember, however, that my order uh, regarding your confidentiality remains in effect, uh, and it will remain in effect until further order of the court. So I ask you, if you do decide to speak with anyone about the case, that you please not identify any of your fellow jurors. Because of the publicity that has surrounded this case, I've been asked to advise you that if you wish to speak to the media today, the court administrator will escort you to an adjacent courtroom, uh, so you will be allowed to be interviewed there if that were your desire. As I understand it, the interview can be conducted on or off camera, and I believe it can uh, either be recorded or just a verbal interview with reporters. At the conclusion of your interview, the court administrator will then escort you back to an area where you can then gather your belongings that you have here today and then of course we'll get you back to your hotel to gather your belongings and get you to your vehicles uh, so that you can go on home. If you wish to be interviewed at this time um, when you step out of the jury room you can inform uh, the bailiff and the court administrator um, and they will uh, accompany you to that adjacent courtroom. 
keep in mind that if you do that, you are opening yourself up to the possibility of future contact. So I ask you to consider that. Again, ladies and gentlemen, let me thank you for your willingness to be a part of our justice system and for your dedicated service in this case. At this time, you are released. Please have a safe trip home. Thank you and God bless.